Today, we are learning how to have anything but zero in place of round number zero. And that too without writing a single formula or line of code. Let's get started. While working in Excel, situations can arise where we don't want to show number zeros in Excel workbook. Instead, we want to have either zero spelled out as zero or zilch or nil or again nil with double L or simply dashes to appear in place of wherever we have zero in cells. Now this might look a difficult task to achieve but this is a very simple trick. So let's start with the first example we have. Select the cell that contains zero and press control one on the keyboard. This will invoke format cells dialog box. From here, select custom and replace general with something like this. Before I explain what I have just done, let's understand there are three main types of numbers, positive numbers, negative numbers, and zero. Now for each of these three types, we can dictate a separate format in Excel. And I have asked Excel to show positive numbers as is, negative numbers with a negative sign, and instead of zero, Z-E-R-O should be shown. Press OK, and you can see that now I have zero replaced with the word zero. I can repeat the same process with other examples with the requirements or whatever I desire. For example, in this case, I have zilch. After selecting the appropriate cell, I hit control one on the keyboard, going to custom. It's that easy. Now the process for the other three example is not going to be any different. I just have to individually select each of these cells and format them as required. And if we want to show nothing at all, but just an empty cell, then that can also be done quite easily by removing the portion of the format that relates to zero like this. Press OK and it will completely hide the content of the cell if it contains number zero. So there you have it. Quite an interesting approach to replace numbers without writing any formula or a line of code in Excel. Now this is definitely an amazing trick, but the coolest part of this trick is that we have only changed the appearance of the number and behind the scenes it is still a number. You can confirm this by selecting any of these cells and then looking at the formula bar. With that said, I can even sum these cells with a number without any errors in the worksheet. Just to confirm, I will sum a number with this cell and it still gives me a result in number. If you like this trick, please give this video a thumbs up and to get immediate updates on future videos, subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell icon. Until next video, I'm your host Hassan Fazal. Happy excelling.